Okay, and once we're familiar with the concept, now let's work on a small challenge. So first in the app JSX, change the folder. So now you wanna get the starter from the second one. And once you navigate there, you'll see that there is index JSX. There's also a list, so the same deal, and the person. Now the logic works just fine. If I go here and say Bob, it's gonna be nicely added to the list. However, notice as I'm typing stuff in the input, all of my components, again, are having that flashing border around them. Why? Well, because we are re-rendering those components. So I want you to fix that, just like we covered in the previous video. So navigate to index JSX and decide what do you need to move to a separate component to avoid this issue. And I can give you a tiny hint. Once you set up the entire functionality, you'll also need to fix the add person. So that's the only place where you'll actually have to change your functionality a little bit. So try working on that. And then once you're ready to compare the results, resume with the video. So first, let me just navigate over there. That's my index. Let me just double check. That's the correct index one. And once we're here, let's just establish why is this happening? Well, I have the form, correct? I have the value and on change. And in there, I have a name state value. So every time I'm going to be updating that state value, I will trigger what? A re-render. So what happens with a list and a person? They also get re-rendered. So first we always need to look what is causing the issue. In this case, it is the name one. Now, million dollar question, can we move name into a separate component? Basically, can I set up a form in a separate component? And of course the answer is yes. I'll just have to move some functionality as well. And lastly, I will have to pass in the add person down to a form. So this one, we still wanna keep it here because we're working with the list. However, we'll have to provide a parameter because add person won't have access to the name state value. And you'll see in a second what I mean. So first we find what is causing the issue. It's this name state value. And now we just wanna set it up in a separate component. So let's navigate here. I'm gonna go with new file. We wanna go with form JSX. Then here, let's create that component. That's my form, I'm exporting. All of that is awesome. And then one by one, let's grab everything that we need. So I'll start here with my return. So we won't need it over here, cut it out. Copy and paste in the form, okay, awesome. Then as far as the logic, like I just said, add person will stay here. I mean, I'm working with the list. It makes sense for this function to be in the lower state component. However, I do want to grab this one and I'll submit. And I also want to set up that state value, correct? So let's cut this one out. And we will also need that use state. So back in my index, I just want to copy this one. So I want to navigate here, copy and paste, and now everything is nice. Now the only thing that's missing is that add person. However, like I already said, I believe two times. Now add person does not have access to this name anymore. So what do we do? Well, we just pass it as a parameter. We just say name here, that's it. And you nicely saw how it was crossed out. Essentially add person doesn't have access to the name unless we provide that as a parameter. So in here, we wanna go first with the form. So form component, like so, we grab the form and we wanna add that person, correct? So add person is equal to add person. We pass the prop, we can save it here. Now it's gonna complain and all that, don't worry about it. Back in the form, we wanna grab add person and now everything is fine. We just need to pass in the name. So we go here with the name, that's it. That's all we have to do. And essentially, I wanna clean out my console. Now notice how nicely as I'm typing, only my form lights up. Why? Well, because we're not triggering those re-renders anymore. That's it. We're only working with the form. And of course, 
once we submit, yeah, of course we're updating the entire list. So there's going to be a re-render. That's exactly what we want. Once we create that new list, I do want to re-render the list as well as the person. But I don't want to do that while I'm typing stuff in the input.